Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. Uh, today we'll be checking out a little subreddit called r slash choosing beggars. Um, so most people are probably familiar with this one, it's kind of one of the bigger ones. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar r slash choosing beggars is pretty much for everyone who wants free stuff but also wants to be a little bit picky about the free stuff they're getting. Um, this is basically the epitome of uh, looking a gift horse in the mouth. And to start it off, we have, I'm going to start down at the bottom and work my up. Okay, we've got, I love small business owners. Okay, what do we got here? One star. Do not go there. They don't know what they are doing. I would give them a minus three. Response from the owner. Hazel, we saved you $135 for, um, from putting a part on your car that it didn't need. And diagnosed your car without charging you the $80 um, diagnostic fee. I see now that was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, you should, probably shouldn't have been that nice to her. Um, to them. I don't know. I'm picturing a Karen, so I said her. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. That's a, that's a case of no good deed goes unpunished. But uh, <laughs> sorry, small business owners. You seem, you seem nice, but yeah. They should release this video. Okay, okay. T tell me more. Tell me more. Again, one star. Always one star with the choosing beggars. <clears throat> I'm writing this review. I refuse to dignify that with a pro um, with a proper na proper pronunciation. If you don't spell it pronounce um if you don't spell it correctly, I do not pronounce it correctly. I am writing this review because the owner doesn't provide disability doors for big bone people. Stupid was not able to squeeze through the door, and this is not how um how you um this is not how you it's fat. What punctuation? Please, please, I beg of you, punctuation. This is not how it's fat shaming, and if I wasn't white, someone would have handed me my foot collection order and your what collection order? Okay. And I hope this owner dies. I have hepatitis. I'm getting a lawyer to sue for foot, um, for food lost. Foot lost? Food lost? I don't know. For lost, food lost. Okay. Um. I mean, um, we are we are God's creatures. You have the right to be whatever you want to be, and if you want to be very very large, then that's your business. But if you are so big that you cannot safely get through a standard door, please acknowledge that demolishing the wall and rebuilding a new door that is you size just for you when you're a completely different size to the rest of the human race is kind of a big ask. I'm I'm just saying, like. I appreciate. We come all in different sizes. We all have the the right to eat what way we want to eat, exercise how we want to eat, um, exercise or not exercise, grow to whatever sizes and shapes that we wish to. But like, there's big boned, and then there's can't fit through a door. Like, sorry, unless your your bones came from an elephant, they're not that big. You just need to take some responsibility for yourself. And admit that you ate yourself too big to fit through the door, and now you want to blame the door for being too small. Like, I'm just saying. What's the response from the owner? <clears throat> On behalf of our team here, we sincerely apologize for your experience and understand your concern. We will release a video of this incident to the public forum so that everyone can take a better look, better look at how you berated and racially profiled our staff. Also, your MAGA hat isn't suitable for this venue, as every customer is expected to wear smart casual, not regneck dumb clothing. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, there he played the race card in there, wasn't it? If I wasn't white, someone would have handed me. Yeah, um, honey, I don't think it's a race thing. I think it's a, they literally need to demolish walls in order to accommodate you, like full on refurb, shut down the entire shop demolish things, rebuild things, hire contractors, get planning permission, pay for time and labour and parts and things. Uh, it's quite a long process for someone who could just lose some weight. I'm just saying, I mean, it's your choice. It's your body. You do it with it what you want. But if it's causing you that much trouble, I'm just saying, maybe slim down to a size where you can fit through doors. Just a, just a suggestion. I'm just saying, we all have choices. We can do what we want in life you do you boo boo but like awkward <laughs> okay 
This is the crap my wife would have to deal with when we owned an aquarium supply store. Ooh, aquarium. Sounds fun. Okay, do tell. Will you take $10 for the Oscar? Uh, no, her price is $25. Uh, she's fully grown at 15 inches and I have successfully bred her. Yeah, but she is a used fish. That <laughs> limit. What? What? You said in your ad you had her for two years. She's not worth $25. That's not how this works. She's a living creature. They don't degrade by price over time. <laughs> Tell that to incels about women. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> I'll just go buy a new one from Pet PetSmart for $10 and then have a nice day. Good luck getting a 15-incher from Walmart, but, um, bud. Good luck to you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know a lot about fish, so, um, but yeah, fish, 15 inches sounds kind of, uh, kind of big. It's, it's a big fish. Um, yeah, and the pet store te ones tend to be just like the little, um, the, yeah, the, 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 the cheap ones. So, no, no offense, well not, but, um, for pet smart, rather, you, you get, um, get cheap fish from there. But yeah, you, you, if you want a $10 fish, get you a small one. You're not getting a big one with that. As I say, I don't know enough fish to comment further on this. I am not a marine biologist, but they, they do tend to be um, more expensive the bigger they are. Like even goldfish. I've seen some goldfish going for nearly £100 um, pounds here in my country because they were freaking giants. Like I'm talking goldfish turned up and grew up and now is bullying the sharks. That's how big it is. It's like full on big fish situation. But yeah, uh, okay. Gave somebody silver because they liked the, um, I, I liked their post. They went through my history and insulted me. Ah, oh. not on Reddit. No, holy crap, this is big. What have I gotten myself into? Oh my god. Okay. Your submission has been given the silver for a reward from Reddit. To an 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 I can't say that word. Redditor liked your submission so much that they give they given it a silver award. As a reward, silver medal on your submission, and that's it. Um, want to say um, thanks to your mysterious benefactor? Boop -ba -doo. Warning: Responding to this message will give um, will reveal your username to the guildie. Damn, you could have sprung for gold, but okay, whatever. I mean, I only had a hundred coins. You could have bought more though. Silver is kind of insulting. It's kind of like, uh, I like this, but uh, not enough to actually give the person and the other person something. Sorry, I guess I didn't buy the, those coins. Um, coins. I had a gilded comment, so I had a hundred coins. It's not meant to give you something amazing. It's just a little flare on the comment. Well, you could have bought more. Your greed is showing. The irony. Silver is really fucking cheap. Uh huh. I couldn't have bought more. I don't even own a credit card. After looking for your um, through your history, it looks like you're not allowed to get a job. Maybe you should pull yourself up by the bootstraps and do it anyway, so you can avoid coming off as cheap to people like me. Get some initiative and start being lazy. First off, you know nothing about my life. Second, you sound like a boomer. <sighs> Do you know how hard it is to support, um, to support yourself and go to college at the same time? If I got a job, my grandparents would likely kick me out of the house. I cannot go through my intensive program and support myself at the same time. You're extremely disrespectful. Sounds like you're too fucking lazy to do it. Looking through your history again. Seriously, stalker match? Looks like you're just gonna be a fat piece of shit forever. Oh boo hoo, I have depression and no motivation to exercise. I bet that shit itself is, is self-diagnosed. You're just sad, sometimes not really depressed. Here's a tip, stop being lazy piece of shit and start relying on yourself rather than your family. Hope this message is a wake-up call you need. Don't act like you're trying to help. Dude, it's not cool. Yeah, I haven't had to physically restrain myself from making a pharmaceutical cocktail out of my medicine cabinet at least once every few months since the age of 15. I haven't had my energy drained for years. I haven't had any interest. Damn, this is getting dark. Um, drained out of me for years. I haven't felt like my life is grey and that I'm just a piece of shit who doesn't deserve life. I'm feeling really bad for this guy. Fuck you and I will no, be, no longer be responding to your messages. Hopefully... Hopefully one day you'll see you're just being an edgy teen, um, 
being a teenage a teenager being edgy and you'll stop complaining about life and blaming shit on the depression. Good luck for being lonely forever because you won't stop being a drain on society. Dude, you're an asshole. Like, come on. You kidding me? I feel like I genuinely feel bad for this person because it sounds like they're, they're kind of going through some shit and it's like just so creepy and weird to just go through their past. I mean, I know it's not that uncommon on Reddit. Like, it's kind of accepted that people go through your old stuff, but it just... I feel like that's the one weird thing about Reddit is... Society in general, if we're we are honest with ourselves, we do kind of stalk each other and keep tabs on each other on social media. But most of the time we at least recognise that that's the nosy part of you that you need to try to switch off because it's like a little bit weird and we're all a little bit creepy inside a little bit. Like we all want to poke our nose in where it doesn't belong a little bit. But there's a point where it's stalkery and creepy and too much an invasion of privacy and like you cross the line and like... Even if you do in it secretly on it, social media, don't tell people that shit. Why the hell do you tell them? And as I say, it's part of the Reddit community because it's so anonymous that a lot of people, I mean, I've had it happen so many times, I'll comment on something. And then I get, uh, especially as a woman who is marked as being female, um, I've mentioned that I'm a woman on my um, Reddit profile, um, um, on my Reddit comments and stuff. There's certain subreddits I cannot go into without immediately having people go through about my gender, my sexual orientation, blah, 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 blah. And it's stuff that was nowhere related to the comment I made, but they've gone through my stuff and tried to find ammunition to use against me through all of my old stuff. Happens all the time, but there's a point when you, like, even if you are checking up on someone's past um, comments... Surely there should be like a little flashing light going off in your head telling you this is some seriously personal shit that I just looked up on this person's stuff. I This is some, some stuff that if you were in, in real life, you would never admit that you stalked this person for however long it took you to find this person's info and then just blurt out all of this personal shit and, um, shit and use it as a weapon. I feel like there's everyone in society who just kind of recognises... You don't do that with a stranger. I mean, even, you do that with your, your best friend or your family member. You just took this argument to a whole new level of serious where this is not something you're automatically going to be forgiven for or forgetting about in a day or two because you took the personal shit and used the personal shit. But you do that to a person you don't even know because you stalked them to find out personal information about them and then you intentionally weaponized it. That's just like, no... Just yucky, 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 yucky. No, I don't like that. Yeah, let's, let's, I want a, I want a funny one now. Is this funny? Let me check. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping this is a little bit funnier. Because that made me sad and a little bit creeped out. A little bit nauseated, not gonna lie. Okay. Hey, can I use your, oh, well, I should, I should preface this with when you lend someone to your car, when you lend your car to someone once. I feel I need to preface it with that. Okay, okay, here we go. Hey, can I use your car again? Sorry, can't. It's with me at my university, bro. Oh, can I use the other one? The one in the garage? Sorry, bro. That's my nice car, and I don't want anything happening to it. Well, you know me. I won't crash it or none. I just need it for a few days. Oof. Uh, I'll think about it. Props need a battery change because it's been in my garage for a couple of weeks before running. All right. Could you charge it, then let me use it? I don't get much, um, don't got much run. And is the gas filled in it? I'm at university, bro, and I don't know if I'll even let you use it, though. It's fine, I'll just ask your dad. Just tell him that you let him get me borrow it before I come over. I need it by tonight, please. Dude, no. How are you even going to pay for gas if you don't have money? It's expensive, since it requires premium gas. Thinking, for, um, thinking face? I figured it's full, since you haven't driven it for, like, weeks. And is the gas filled in it? I'm at university, bro. And no, I don't know who, if I'll even let you use it yet, though. Fine, I'll just ask you to... Oh, wait, hold on. I did... I'm confused. Is that the same thing? Okay, skipping. Okay. I figured it's full since you haven't driven it in weeks. What's the point in having a nice car if you're not even going to drive it? I'll get some life out of it, bro. Please. Um... <laughs> like he's determined, but yeah. Not your car. Not your car. You don't get to have it immediately. Especially if it's a nice car. Like, 
I would definitely, if I was ever asking to someone who was borrowing two cars, I would immediately be like, hey, just for my peace of mind, can I borrow the shitty one? Because I don't want to crash, um, don't crash the nice one. Not that I'm planning on crashing it, but you know, just for insurance, get the cheap one if they're going to let you borrow it. Not that you, but yeah, I don't know. Um, and I don't get the mentality of people like the, this. I mean, to be fair, I understand the whole when someone has a fancy car it's kind of silly when they just leave it in the drive and are just so kind of wanting to keep it pristine and like what's the point of the investment if you don't drive it but just because you know even that being said like it's not your car <laughs> it's not your car if they want to leave it in the drive that's their business um even if it seems silly it's it's their thing and honestly lending stuff out like i get <laughs> I feel like it's one of those things. It's like I've I never have asked to borrow someone, someone's thing that was that expensive. Like I, I, not even cars. Like I get nervous about borrowing people's phones or laptops because it's too valuable. But, but, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess you're. This is a bold mofo. He don't care. He gonna, he just gonna be like, I'ma just borrow someone's fancy car, and expecting them to have it all charged and filled with gas and ready to go for you like honey honey he is not your valet he is the guy you were trying to borrow a very expensive thing from and you treating him like your staff <laughs> i'm i'm thinking there must be a little bit a little bit of a delusional going on with this, which makes sense for choosing beggars i did plan to go on a bit more but uh it's getting it's kind of dragging this video so um, let's just quickly homophobic um choosing beggar doesn't want to pay for, um, pay me, so I created her an icon for free of charge. Okay, let's see. Last one, I'm gonna go quickly. Hey girl, I saw a drawing you did of Lizzie and it's so good. I really want an icon for my profile too. Thank you so much, and sure, I'll make it for you as soon as I finish my current project. So, around tomorrow. Are you okay? Are you okay with the same style I did for Liz? Yeah, that would be good. You're the best. No worries, it'll be ten dollars. Just uh, hand it to me on Monday. What? Or just give it to Liz. Why do I have to pay? Because I'm spending time on it. But you did Liz's for free. Is it because you're both lesbians? Yes, we are part of the same secret club. We are, um, it's, it's part of our code that we always help other lesbians. Yes, I can, I can confirm. What the fuck, Ayama? Is it because, um, if yes, I'm a part of the LB LGBT community too? <clears throat> Awkward. First of all, I'm bi. Second of all, piss off. <laughs> go girl. Yes, you go girl. I'll draw it. Um, if you draw it for me, I, I will post it on my story and everywhere and you'll get loads more followers and money. So think of it as an investment. Girl, please. You have 64 followers. Girl. <laughs> what Ella? Fuck you, Dyke. I never even liked your drawing anyway. Go lick Lizzie's pussy. You'd be lucky to even draw me. Fucking Lesbo. I'm sorry. I don't know. I know. I don't know what came over me. I had anxiety and depression. Can I please just get an icon? Fuck you, at a bitch. Damn, girl, you had some issues. Okay. You know what? I changed my mind. Give me a minute. Really? Oh my god! Thank you so much. I to I'll totally post you on my Instagram. Done at zero charge. I wanna, I wanna show me. I wanna zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Go on further. Damn it. Is that as far as I'll, far as I'll zoom in? Damn it. I wanted to properly show this off. You can kind of see it down there. But that's as big as it gets, unfortunately, in this screenshot. I'll see if I can edit that to make it bigger. But like, it's majestic. It's beautiful. Well done, girl. Well done. What the fuck? You. Fuck you, ugly bitch. I want a real one. I'm gonna tell everyone you hit on me and I rejected your ugly ass. <laughs> um, obviously a severely mentally stable person here. Like, really. I want to read the comments. I, I promised I would not make this video too long, but I want to read the comments. Ah, the classic. I love your stuff. It got something. Your stuff sucks anyway. It's, it is a classic. It's it's an oldie but a goodie. Do do do. What else we got? We got here. Do do do. Where are we at? This is a very long continuation of the same conversation. I wanted to kind of show more of a range. Boop a do. 
Oh my god, it just gets worse and worse as you keep reading. I'm so sorry sorry you had to tolerate this shit girl. I hope she gets hit by her own karma soon because this is just vile. It's true. It's effed up. Um, the effed up part of this all is why do people act like this and do it over text of all places? I mean, a phone call probably isn't going to be recorded and it isn't going to end up posted all over the internet. But this last, she unleashed a tirade of homophobic crap while pretending to be part of the LGBT community herself. All because she's a cheap and jealous. Then she leaves written proof of her intentions to spread BS about OP. Like, I get that she's an idiot, but does it? Th- that's the, the. Yeah, good point. Good point, honey. Yes. That's very true. Like, she's. she's <laughs> it, you literally left your calling card. Like, you said you were gonna accuse her of uh, sexually. Like, well, she was just like trying to embarrass her sexually, but like, um. Seriously, do you think that's going to work when you literally wrote it here? Like, you tell everyone this, and then she'll... If you, did, yeah, if you actually did that, she'll just post this everywhere and show everyone what you already said to her. So no one's going to believe you. You dummy. Dummy, dummy, dumb. But... <laughs> as I say, it doesn't seem fully mentally there. There's, like, like a lot of flip-flopping back, back and forth. I feel like when you just kind of go off on someone like this, you kind of can't really read through I mean I can understand someone getting angry in the heat of the moment and yelling something like this verbally um if they just lost their temper massively but like massively losing your temper then apologizing they're massively losing your temper um via written text like you can read all of this stuff back yourself and see yourself like you it's kind of hard to yell it um, yell like this while staring in a mirror and surely for written text should be should be the same but um, I'm guessing we just don't have a lot of introspection and a lot of mental stability as I'm saying but um sorry OP for having to go that um go through that but the picture is amazing I love it well done you it's beautiful thank but yeah and I'm loving the sass that was thrown back as well thank you very much OP that was amazing yeah so as I say I'm wrapping up choosing beggars here it ran on a lot longer than originally intended but here you go, guys. Here's a nice long episode. And um, uh, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you're not already following Choosing Beggars, go do that as well, because uh, it is a lot of fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.